5.38 a.m. in the morning. We're leaving Dunedin. After three and a half months, we're moving on. We're going somewhere different, somewhere touristy, somewhere popular. I'm talking about Queenstown. Midling, she's taking pictures. She's ready to say goodbye. And it was so lovely staying with my cousin Yan, Cyril, and of course the two energetic balls of energy, Annika and Yumi. The car was empty as most of our stuff was in our room. But again, we take all of our worldly possessions, all of our belongings, clothes, stashed it, threw it in the car. And now it's full again. And that guy walks their dog at quarter to six in the morning. Good on you, mate. Hi. Bye, house. Okay, clean stuff. Let's go. Seven thirty-six. We're about two hours into the drive. Another hour and a half remaining before we get to Queenstown. Gonna take a little quick bathroom break. What a cute little statue. They're picking the apples. Let's get a move on. When I drive, I have a tendency to get tired. The remedy for that is for me to eat. So I've been eating date scones as we've been driving. Thanks for baking date scones, Ling. Thanks for not falling asleep while driving. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Hello, old Moa friend. I never thought I'd see you again. It's gonna be really nice weather over the next couple days. Just nice, sunny weather in Queenstown. Really looking forward to that. But I've got something, some important matters to tend to at the moment. So I need to go off and take care of that. So if I don't take care of this thing that I need to take care of, I am at risk of getting a $200 ticket if I get pulled over. Luckily, my cousin Yan pointed, oh God, she pointed out to me yesterday, and I don't know how I didn't notice this, I did not renew my registration for this vehicle. You pay like 60, 70 bucks to have your, have your registration renewed for six months, or you could do it for a year, it's up to you. I usually do it every six months. And this expired on the 11th of December, 2020. And today we are the 11th, exactly one month, from the date of expiry, January 11th, 2021. It's been a month I've been driving and that is not cool, especially if uh, you get pulled over or if you get a ticket and they'll find out and then I have to pay a hefty fee for that. So thank you, Yan, for pointing that out to me. I don't know how this escaped me. I'm thinking it's probably because I thought at the end of October, I'm gonna be selling this car anyway. So whoever's gonna buy this car is gonna to have to renew it. But then lo and behold, the New Zealand government extended our visas to the SSE visa. We ended up staying here in New Zealand a lot longer. And I totally forgot that I still need to renew now. So um, my WAF is good until the end of this month, but I will have to make an appointment for that. So I need to drive back to Frankton. I'm gonna to have to backtrack a bit and go to the AA and get this sorted out. Back there, I don't know if you could see it on the camera. That is the Fear Factory Haunted House. Someone commented on one of my videos saying that not only did Ed Sheeran eat at Ferg Burger and made the claim that it is the best burger in all of New Zealand, but he also did make a stopover at the Fear Factory Haunted House. Just a little tidbit. Oh, speaking of Ferg Burger, we're driving past it right over there. On the right, always busy, always people there. But it might pick up, we're in the month of January. So now that people are done with their holidays, they're done with their time spending, you know, whatever it is with family, very lucky to be here in New Zealand where there's no COVID. So people were able to congregate and meet with their families. Now that that's out of the way, we're in the new year. 
uh, families and couples and people are just out and about heading up to Queenstown having their vacations. Okay, so I've got a bit of a predicament here. The woman wasn't able to renew my registration because apparently my WAF is expired. Basically, WAF is, is the warrant of fitness here in New Zealand. If you don't have a warrant of fitness, basically it means that your car is not safe to drive. I gotta do the WAF first, and then I gotta, and then I can renew my registration. Hopefully I can take care of that today since I have the day off. Bring in my car um, for a WAF check today. Yeah, we don't take bookings, but just a drive through so you just uh, join the queue. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'll be there. Okay, cool, no worries. Alright, okay, thank bye you. Bye. bye. So, my only concern, I guess, is that this car passes the WAF. It is an old car. Last time I did the WAF, uh, the check door straps were busted, so we had to shell out at like $200. And Anyways, gotta do the WAF, get the WAF done, then I can renew the registration on the vehicle. So here we are at the VTNZ. This is the lineup. We got two queues and a steady lineup of cars all lined up to do their WAF. I could barely get into their, their driveway. The back part of the car is sticking out into the street. So we wait. It's been about an hour. The Toyota Camry passed with flying colors the warranty of fitness inspection. That is a huge relief for me because, you know, who wants to pay more money to get repairs on a car? So with that being done, I can renew my uh, registration, get my car licensed, and I could be legit on the road without having any fear of getting pulled over and getting ticketed for driving a car that's not fit to be on the road or has its, uh, its uh, registration done. Awesome. This was my first time getting a warranty of fitness at VTNZ and the service was great. It was a bit of a wait at the beginning, but once once my car got in there, it was pretty quick. And the best news is that everything passed. There you have it there. This is the very reason why I came out to get my registration renewed. So with that, all right, let's get back to Queenstown. I almost forgot we need to pick up some breed and eggs. Some breed and eggs. So that's why we're here. So many choices. Usually they just a calculation. I don't know how many eggs she wanted. So we got mixed grade over here. Nutritious, nutritious, nutritious. Let's see, yeah, these are all pretty big. Okay. They actually sell Filipino beer here at Pack and Save. Look at this, they got Red Horse. Do you wish to continue? Select payment type. Transaction accepted. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we go to Queenstown. Searching for about 20 minutes now, not finding any parking. It's been doing my rounds, it kind of feels like I'm back in Montreal. Trying to find parking in Montreal. Oh, there's nothing down this dead end street. It took a while, but we did it. Found parking, trying to find a parking spot, an all day parking spot, ideally but just a parking spot in general is a pain in the arse. 